Okay, you need caches here, and we just put out a new hide. This one is for Easter, and the coordinates lead out into this lovely area in the forest, and they lead to that. Okay, so there's a post, and on the post are two boxes. Let me take a little closer look here. There are locks on both boxes. There's a lock on that box and a lock on that box. This box has a four-digit code. This box has a three-digit code. In the description for this cache, it gives them the three-digit code. So they can go ahead and open up the larger of the two boxes with their code. And inside are instructions on how to do this cache. Now this is an Easter cache, so it's time for an Easter egg hunt. And it says, hidden nearby are four Easter eggs. And inside each egg is a number for the combination to the other lock on this pole. And so we're gonna use the ropes to find each combination. There's one for each of the four numbers. So we'll start out with the first number. Okay, unwinding the rope here, you attach it to the spinner at the top of this pole, and then stretch the rope out as far as it will go. And see where it takes us. Okay, takes us over to those bushes, um, the palmettos there. And you could look down underneath and there's nothing there. Takes us over by this tree and oh, there's nothing on that side of the tree. So you would have to go then around the tree. Okay, so on the other side of the tree, it leads to the bottom of this palmetto plant. And if we look down at the bottom, underneath some moss, there is an egg. And if you open the egg inside, there's a number. So it's saying the first number in the combination is two. Okay, so once you find the first number, then you can go on and do the second and third and fourth. And then by the end of that, you will have the combination. Um, each one is a different distance away from the pole. That first one was 14 feet. The second number is nine feet and so on. So once you have all four numbers, then you can open up the other container. Okay, and inside that container is a little note that says, press the button to find the log. So at the end of this rope is a button, and when you press the button, hmm, where is that coming from? Somewhere over here. That's coming from right here. And there it is. The cash container that has the log and some swag. Further underneath is the actual geocaching sound effects box. But um, it has clear instructions on it to not move it or open it, and it is fastened down. So we just wanted to share with you another unique cache. Thank you.